so you will not get exhausted. That's a good news. So good. next time you get exhausted, good. you good. walk a little more. Because tonight we learn the technique of Nordic pool walking systematically, step by step. What you will learn is that Nordic pool walking brings you back, number one, to a great upright body posture. Mm -hmm. This is where we start with. <laughs> An upright posture does not... It does. And it's a natural walking gait. When I lose the pulse, it's just natural walking. Easy. Sure. Nice shake hands position. So basically it's in the height of our belt line. Then automatically I have the right position. So when I walk uphill, I have to pose in the height of my shoulder and I stay upright. So I don't forward so what I do is I just shift my body weight more to the toes I keep my upright body posture as good as possible and just swing my arms high to the shoulders so that I have a good resistance to the pole. I do a demonstration. So when I go up see I hold the pose here. It's like a four-wheel drive. <laughs> use your arms and use your pose. Yeah. Come up. <laughs> huh? Let's help you. Yeah. It's easier to go, go up to the pose. Wow, that yeah. is. Above your head. The whole shoulder width. Just let's push the poles together. Yeah, so isometric exercise. So we make the poles a little bit shorter at the end, at least one centimeter. We push the poles together. Breathing, don't stop breathing. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and push, and push, and thank you. To have the most impact of any physical activity and exercises, we need to achieve two things. That's one, we should do a moderate cardio training. This is what Nordic Pro Walking is. And the cardio training, because all our upper body muscles are uh, incorporated, is always just walking with the pose in comparison without pose is 25% higher automatically. 